Hello everyone, this is my VC with Minilad. Um, hopefully everything goes well. Um, Minilad, can you hear me? Are you with me? Uh, hello, what's up? I just wanted to ask you a few questions, um, propose some things to you. I'm going to try to be as civil as possible. Sorry, I just wanted to interrupt. I just got coffee today and it's amazing. Just wanted to point that out. Coffee, amazing. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Go ahead. Are you going to ask some questions or something? Yeah, I was just going to ask. Um, Yeah, hold on. I'm just not comfortable. I might fall out of my chair real quick just for some attention real quick because I don't like doing these interviews or stuff if people don't give me the attention, you know? Do you believe that you deserve a spot on YouTube and have a lot of these viewers still watch you after what you've done? I mean, I think there's plenty of content creators out there who haven't done anything wrong that definitely deserves those viewers more than you do um i mean i i just love my fan base i love my community even though yes i might have made mistakes in the past they're gonna stick by me no matter what they're gonna continue donating shout out to greg because greg likes to donate me a lot of money all right i wasn't asking you that question Minnie, but can we be on topic? Speaking of on topic, this coffee, the barista, she looked a bit younger, but I like the way she looked. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't I wasn't hinting at anything there. I was just, you know, letting it know being on topic while we're talking about coffee. That's what we were talking about, right? I got some big goals for coffee, you know, like doing some content with different types of coffee that I bring, different coffee uh, that okay. I bring to live streams, not. breaking new ground on YouTube. Why do you tend to bring up therapy? so much in in your content i it's to my understanding that you actually got therapy right oh funny thing about therapy that's when i started trying more flavors of coffee i didn't try the basic white girl vanilla coffee that everybody usually tries i kind of tried some new ones some sea salt caramel did you actually go to therapy or no so yeah, I was able to try different flavors during therapy. It was uh, really, really fun. And I guess that was like the most exciting part about therapy is that I can still drink coffee, still make content, still talk to fans, and uh, drink my coffee while I do that. Um, coffee's the most important thing right there. Okay, I'll, I'll take it as you did, I guess. I mean, of course I went to therapy. I mean... <laughs> Why would I be drinking different coffee if I didn't go to therapy? It was actually my therapist who recommended me trying different coffees. Because maybe that will get rid of some of the, what would you call it, evil intentions that I used to have. Um, I just say, hey, I was lonely. I was, uh, my life wasn't going the way I wanted to. And I didn't know if I was going to keep living. But I can tell you now, I'm definitely living. This new coffee is just, ah. Uh. Yeah, so my next question is, why did you talk badly about the crew, the Vanoss crew that you were involved in? It seems like you were a bit upset that Vanoss was being more recognized than you were. <sighs> Look, I think I was just better off as a solo YouTuber. It was a lot more fun. Okay. Yeah. You said bad things about the crew, like they kicked you out and they talked crap about other YouTubers. I mean, look. They just kicked me out of their chats. Nope, I wasn't kicked. They released me. Nope, I wasn't released from their chats. I, you know what? I actually can't put my finger on it. I don't know what happened. All I remember is me no longer being there, and it seems more tension-seeking if I just say I was kicked. And I want people to feel bad for me, because my life, you know, kind of really sucks at the end of the day. Gotta wake up, gotta make content for people. Just can't be famous automatically, you know? So I have to show the world, you know, why I deserve to be where I need to be at by doing some crazy stuff that nobody really ever asked for. So you've never talked badly about another YouTuber before? Oh, right, right. Jokingly, maybe, but I've never talked bad. Especially after my therapy and after my coffee. I've never talked bad about anybody. Yeah, I don't know if that's how it works. Um... Okay. Why'd you blame Terrorizer for making fun of your mental health? Look, me and Brian, we, we go way back, okay? We go way back. Um, he's doing good. I can, I can assure you that. Um, I still message him every single day. Um, and that's not a lie, you know? Just like the lies going around that I message underage people. Those people just gotta get their facts straight, you know? So for me and Brian, um, people need to get their facts straight. I never said that he did that. Um, I just felt like I was personally attacked, you know? Just the way he looked at me. That was an attack of me. You know? Me that I identify as a mini lad you know he hurt every mini lad that day so i had to make a statement on twitter and something you know well um i think everybody would expect me to ask you about the 
you know, the, the situation that you're in with the girls and everything else, would you explain what happened there without just defaulting to, oh, I was in a bad mental state, I was going to harm myself and end my life. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, sure, I can elaborate. Um, Before, I don't think I had my coffee. <sighs> yeah, I didn't have my coffee. That that That's really the root of the problem. I think a good cup of coffee every morning, um, afternoon, um, in, de in between your breaks during the day, and one at night, um, if you're not drinking at least four cups of coffee that are just filled with sugar, then that's the problem, I think. Um, I, I just didn't have enough of my coffee, you know? And um, therapy, having my eyes be awakened to coffee, leaving the group and having so much money in a big mansion and a decent looking girlfriend, um, that just all wasn't enough until, say it with me, I got my coffee. Okay, I think we've heard that before, but I think it takes a whole nother level of being really a true monster to view children this way and to interact with children this way. Look, look, I might have talked about my coffee. I might have talked about, hey, I just wasn't in the right spot. I know. But at the end of the day, these people weren't really children. They were 16 and 17 years old. I mean, come on. Everyone's pretty much adults at 16. So let's just lay that foundation out and go from there. Yes, yes, but there's also that 14-year-old girl that Keemstar called you out on. I mean, do you find people under the age of 18 attractive? <laughs> okay, I see where this is going. That 14-year-old girl that, you know, I was complimenting her on her breasts and everything. Don't worry about her, okay? She's irrelevant in all of this. Yes, I did that, but don't worry about that, okay? I was saving her life, okay? So that's excusable. The barista today, I don't know how old she was, but she was definitely on the younger side. I'm sure she's 16, so it's okay. I mean, I just feel like people should just stop caring on who people date, you know? If I want to go date someone under the age of 18, just let me do it. I mean, come on, get off my back about it, you know? Did you hear I'm going to open up a Discord with all my fans soon? That's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, I guess we're not getting anywhere with that either. I just have somebody who would like to join the call and say something to you. Are, are you all right with somebody joining and saying something to you? Oh, yeah. Bring them on. I'm sure anybody who you try to bring up, they're not going to bring up anything more important than what I brought up about coffee or the dumb points you brought up. Bring them on. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Okay. Here he is. Um, TJ, T, T, TJV, I didn't say I was down to do this. Um, so yeah, I don't particularly want to work with the guy. I know he made a video saying we're patching things up, which is not true. Um, I feel like he says things in order to kind of get flack off his back. I'm gonna go. Oh, okay. Mini lad left. All right. Well, thanks, Brian, for showing up for this. I appreciate it. Hope all is well and. <laughs> All right, yep, we still have that going on. Thank you guys for joining. That's Mini Lad and Brian making a quick cameo in this video. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, if that ever really did happen, at least you guys would be entertained because we wouldn't get many answers. Bye.